Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good, 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 wherever you're tuning in from. In case you're just coming across this beautiful channel, my name is Michelle, aka Mama and Kids. You're welcome to this family. Please do well to subscribe, comment, share, and invite your friends. Thank you very much to our old subscribers. Thank you for always coming back to see what we have. God bless you. We are introducing something very new. Yeah, we are making Nigerian puff puff. Puff puff is something my children love so much. And because they love, they love eating puff puff, I just had to figure out a way to make it a bit adequate for them because they are kids, growing kids, you know. So today we are trying out this recipe on puff puff. Please sit back and enjoy this video. And for this recipe, we need all you can see here. Yeah, we are introducing these two new things. We will use this geisha for this puff puff and ginger root. Okay, so. And of course, we'll be adding a teaspoon of this vinegar to the puff puff. Well, I love adding vinegar to my baking and sugar, a teaspoon of salt, um, yeast, dried yeast, and two large eggs, milk. I use milk in my puff puff instead of water. So what I do is warm up my milk and add, and of course, white meal. Yeah, type 405 white meal. This is a good quality. 1000 gram. Okay, we are good to go. So we start by adding a white meal into the bowl. Now I, I have to add all the dry ingredients. I pour my sugar. I try not to put much of sugar. My pinch of salt comes now and my yeast is coming right after the salt. Seven grams of yeast, dried yeast. So now that I've added all the dry meat. Okay, there's something else I love to add to. I love to add nutmeg as well. Okay, we have all our dry meals here. Eh? The next thing I want to add is uh, our milk. Remember, the milk is warm. Just will keep aside. If I need more, I'll add. Don't forget our ginger. I just blended the ginger and seed. This is the water from the ginger. So we'll add. This ginger will help cup the hard taste or the funny taste from the fish. <laughs> I will still need more water and milk. And I guess we'll still need more. So at this point I added a bit of warm water, just ordinary water here. Yeah? Vinegar. A teaspoon of vinegar. Yeah, a teaspoon of vinegar. It's time to add the egg. Okay, we we'll have our eggs added. Mm. 
time to add our geisha. Remember, there is oil in geisha. Don't be scared about the oil. Add everything. Okay, can we see what it looks like? This is gonna be delicious, I promise. And to get a very fine mixture, I'll have to use my hands, not the spatula. It's time to start frying our puff puff. Let's check if it's ready. Oh yeah, it's ready. Can you see the bubbles? The air bubbles. It's ready for frying. Now we we'll have to add our oil in a pot. I advise you use a deep pot for frying. We'll add our vegetable oil. Here is our vegetable oil. Make sure you have enough oil that can at least dip an egg. This is a mixture. This is what it looks like. Can you see the bubbles? Okay. It's time to fry. Now, to put this in the oil, you don't want it to scatter, yeah? So you make sure it's tight in your hand. So you have it round. And the sizes you want is also important. So this is the last one. I'm going to try putting pepper and onion. Okay guys, this is what our fish puff puff looks like. This is fish puff puff without pepper and onion. And this is with pepper and onion, very much spiced. All right, we serve in sat with this salad. So food is ready. Fish puff puff, a new recipe from Mama and Kids. Thank you for your time. Please be sure to subscribe if you have not subscribed to this channel. Thank you so much. Have a great day. This is Mama and Kids saying bye.